What's happen? Welcome back to another cringy video. No need to comment it, I already know. I do realize that I haven't uploaded in a while, but I don't need to say that because, like, nobody watches my videos, therefore no one cares, so... But, you know, if there's one person that does care, you know, sorry about that. Oh, sh**. I even call myself cringy. Either way, yesterday from when this video was uploaded was a very special day. It was the Curse of Osiris DLC reveal stream and I watched all of it. I'm here today to give you the juiciest, besterest info that they leaked to us during the stream. Basically, I'm here to save one hour of your life. You're welcome. Let's start off with a new Curse of Osiris DLC trailer. Take a look. Ominous rocks, killer robots, people in mortal danger. Seriously, aren't you tired of this? Fatigue is a distraction from our purpose. As are complaints. Oh, I haven't begun to complain yet. Ouch! Oh, now I'm complaining. Focus, Sagira. Reach for the sky, big guy. Need help? Again? I've got it, thank you. Well? Osiris? What, what did you see? Slow down! Wait... I thought I... Oh, sh... Two o'clock, medium range. You're welcome. You know, I can't help but notice that even with all of reality to explore, you keep picking the places where they shoot at us. We can't stay here. If the Vex succeed, it's the end of everything. Sakura, we can see your light. You have to go. Nope, not leaving you. Without me, there's no coming back. If I don't stop the Vex, there won't be anything to come back to. I'm doing this for the both of us. Don't you even... Huh? Oh, sorry! see Osiris makes another brand appearance and what's interesting to see is that at the beginning of the trailer a group of guardians seems to get frozen in time. Can't wait to see how that plays through. But let's get to even more exciting things. During the stream Bungie gives us an exclusive VIP tour of the lighthouse. The lighthouse was only accessible in Destiny 1 when you went flaws in Trials of Osiris. Now it has become the main social space of Mercury. Bro Vance is coming back to be the main vendor of Mercury. Brother Vance will reward you with lighthouse engrams in exchange for Mercury tokens. You can get Mercury tokens the same way you would with any other other planetary token through things like public events, chests, lost sectors, and high value targets. Bungie teased that they have created a new public event on Mercury that to date is the biggest one. You'll be able to see it in action during the second live stream. Here is a sneak peek at what the Mercury armor set will look like for the Warlock, Hunter, and Titan.
As much as I love the lighthouse, they really changed it up. The whole entrance you had in Destiny 1 was completely scrapped like it doesn't exist. You enter and exit the lighthouse through a portal which never existed before. I understand that Mercury has undergone changes, but let's do a before and after to show how much the lighthouse has drastically changed. I'll show you the new lighthouse in just a second, but if you went flaws in Destiny 1, you would know that there was two areas that were blocked off by barriers. Bungie never opened them or did anything with them, so basically an entire area was taken off, replaced by a portal that leads below the lighthouse because the lighthouse is on top of a gigantic circular pillar. Who would have thought that the lighthouse with the entrance of D1 was circular? No one. Honestly, I think that the new lighthouse looks like garbage, it's super small, the only use of it is to see Brother Vance and to forge weapons that I will get to later. Honestly, it doesn't look like much of a hangout to me. Anyway, I sped it up a bit so that it wasn't too long because Deej was walking very slow there. Anyway, this circle thing on the wall is very important. Each circle that branched off of the bigger circle that's in the middle that has the Eye of Osiris represents a weapon. As you can see, two circles are lit with Egyptian hieroglyphics. Once you complete the DLC's campaign, you will have optional quests that you can do that allows you to find and forge modified Vex weapons to serve for your own use. Pretty cool. I passed some Mercury gameplay just before that I will not show because I'm just doing news right now. Right in front here, this massive portal leads to the Infinite Forest. It is said to be procedurally generated, but in the stream they said it wasn't. It will usually be different every time, but there are limited options, like crucible maps. This video is getting excessively long, so I will try to summarize everything quickly. So now they are entering the infinite forest. A very nice entrance indeed, I really, really like it. They describe the infinite forest as a sort of dream world. And look at this, look at all this Vex technology, it looks really cool. Apparently Mercury is hollowed out and inside of Mercury is where they built the infinite forest. So, pretty cool stuff. So this is what it looks like. They, there are floating pillars in the sky that they call trees because every forest needs its trees. Now there are three main pillars that you can see here. There's one in the front that not the one that you see right here, but the one behind that. There's one to the left that looks very pristine, and another one to the right that looks very destroyed, as you see with that like red beam going out. So the one to the right with the red beam is said that it is it brings you to the dark future, which is basically the same reality that you're in now, but very dark. The one that's very pristine seems to bring you to the past, and the one in front don't quote me on the one on the front, I'm not totally sure, but I do believe that it brings you to exactly where you are, but in alternate reality. It's either that, or it brings you in the past too, but only a little bit in the past, and the other one brings you a lot in the past. Since this video is super long, I'm going to stop it here. Tomorrow I will be talking about raid layers, what they are, where the first one is going to be, and some gameplay of it. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all in the very next video.